hey what's up guys if you want to make a cool time lapse like this and if you have Canon 5D Mark IV like this this is a video for you stay tuned okay guys uh, in this video I'm gonna be showing you uh, how to uh, work with these two new features of uh, Canon 5D Mark IV uh, for time-lapse making and which is the first one is for photo mode uh, which is called interval timer um, and you can basically take hundreds of photos and then take them to the post-production uh, adjust the light exposure stuff like that and render it as a video and the second thing which is a again another new feature is time-lapse movie and and it's only works in uh, movie mode or video mode so uh, and uh, I think this is the same as if you're familiar with Magic Lantern uh, menus and options is the same as FPS uh, override in movie menu or video menu in Magic Lantern so basically these are two cool uh, new features for this camera and just make sure if you want to use a time-lapse movie in video mode keep the Wi-Fi function off because uh, otherwise it won't appear in your menu uh, this uh, item so uh, now let's start to doing some time-lapse okay let's turn on the camera and bring up the menu first and then and let's check for first of all you put the camera in manual mode and uh, let's check the exposure, aperture, and ISO, and take some uh, test shots. Uh, if we're okay with the result, then we're good to go. Okay, then we hit the menu button. We go to the camera adjustment to fourth sub menu, and the first option which says interval timer. Uh, we click on that, and then we enable it again we go back into interval timer and hit the info button to change our interval amount and the values okay the interval uh, section is about uh, duration between each two photos that the camera will take the first one is our the middle one which now i'm showing you is the minute and the last one is second and the number of shots we have by default 99 shots uh, but if you put the double uh, o zero zero that will give us unlimited number of shots until you turn off the camera and the the interval uh, timer will stop so let's do some shots as you can see this blinking uh, red light showing us that the camera is taking uh, photos every two seconds so i'm gonna fast forward this part a little bit and uh, we will come back all right i think that's it and you have to turn off the camera to stop the interval timer and turn it down again and we see uh, the result in the camera i think that's fine okay good okay this is the sample and now uh, we're going to be showing you how to make the time pass movie first of all we need to turn on the camera and the next thing, we have to make sure that the Wi-Fi function is 100% off. Otherwise, you won't be able to see the time-lapse movie option on your menus. And the next thing, we have to make sure that uh, we are switched to the movie mode instead of photo. And then we hit the menu button. And in uh, menu, uh, adjustment camera adjustment we hit the fifth subfolder and we scroll down to the time-lapse movie 
and then we make it enable and you can see all the data and information that the camera needs to capture based on these and then we hit the info and interval number of shots which is uh, 300 shots every three seconds and here uh, it says camera needs 14 uh, minutes to capture movie and here is the final clip that will that the camera will create for us okay we hit the okay and we hit the shutter then start stop and then it says to start hit the shutter completely of course and the camera will start to capture the movie and now I can show you how it works uh, if you just take a look to the top uh, LCD in the camera you can see a blinking uh, time-lapse movie sign with the number that shows the camera is in process and on top left corner there is uh, a number which is reducing to zero and that will say the number of shots that remains for camera to capture okay and now this is the result uh, okay guys that was it for the time lapse uh, just uh, to remind you two small tricks to make your time lapses better uh, always take time lapses for uh, on manual mode on lenses just put the lens on manual and the other thing take out from the auto white balance and do it manually because um, obviously you're taking all the photos in raw and then you can adjust whatever you want in Lightroom so uh, I think that was it and uh, thanks for watching and if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to my channel and again thanks for watching see you guys Cheers.